All right, welcome back, everybody. This is GTM here. Uh, in today's uh, video tutorial, we're going to be covering uh, some mix mapping. Uh, you know, basically uh, taking two uh, textures and uh, mixing them together with a masking type of map or grunge texture. I'm going to go ahead and launch up a uh, 3D Max here. All right, as you can see, we're continuing with our scene from uh, last tutorial, and um. I'm going to go ahead and click on this, uh, well I already got it selected, but okay, I'm going to go ahead and click on this oil drum here. I'm going to right click, hide unselected, I'm going to hit my P key because I'm in camera mode right now. So I'm going to hit P on the keyboard, get in perspective, I'm going to hit Z to Z up on it. So I'm just kind of rotating around and making sure the barrel looks pretty good, you know, the geometry that is. Now don't get me wrong, we've already uh, unwrapped the boxes. So, you know, if I wanted to do this one uh, with the unwrap as well, here, let me just break it down real quick. I'll hit my material key. And uh, let me scroll down to a blank shader here. I guess it doesn't really matter. We got our crates here. I can go in any one of these shaders. I guess I'll go on this one just for now. And what I'll do is uh, I'll go ahead and name that Oil Drum 1. And then from there, uh, yeah, I could sit here and give it a nice little color so I'd know what I've mapped, just like we did before. And I'm going to go ahead and um, select certain faces here. So I'm going to go to my Alt. And if I were to map this really quick, unwrap it, I'm basically I'd probably highlight those faces just like that. And you know what? Probably, let's see. I go grow, 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 right about there. And then use the UV, you know, UV map, but I would make it a cylinder. Just like that. And then, of course, back to our unwrap. And, you know, usually, like I said, we got a kind of a mess here, but it tries to unwrap it the best it can. And then from here, we'll edit and then you can see this is our oil drum the side so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn this off just so you can see that and then I'm gonna highlight that and then probably scale it down you know somewhat to make it look like you know the circumference of the oil drum I could probably bring that about right there all right and then of course uh, you know if I want I can move it off to the side or you can just keep it there for now I'm gonna Close it out and same repetitive the process, collapse to and lock it in place and then just to you know indicate that I had mapped that, I drag that shader right onto it. Alright, so now I'd probably go from here and do the tops and bottoms at the same time. So I got those selected. I'm just gonna hit grow, 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 grow. Keep clicking it until I get to the rest of the faces that I have not selected, which I believe I got them all now. Uh, let me make sure that I okay yeah from there all right and then I would do the same thing I would UV map it I would use a planer which I'm knocking both of them out at the same time and then unwrap and now you can see our green bounding box here and then I'll go ahead and just hit edit and then there goes the top of our um, barrel top and bottom to be exact so I'm gonna go ahead and move that off to the side right click collapse to and then of course we do the whole oops let me go ahead and select my faces here and just drag that on there so I know basically the whole barrel has been mapped so I'll highlight everything now unwrap everything at once and then there we go. It looks like we missed some faces right there. Not a big deal. Um, I'm just going to push that off to the side. But, you know, like I said, if you, in case you want to go, oops, in case you want to remap it, I was just showing you how I would go about it. And then, you know, we can actually take, uh, this would be pretty simple to do. We can take all these and actually just tools, pack the UVs, and there we go. And I would probably take these ones right here and resize them maybe rotate them on the side like I said we could even keep those stacked because you probably would never see the bottoms unless you're trying to animate 
the barrels or you know maybe in your games they might be destructive barrels or they can get knocked around then you probably want to unwrap both of these all right and then from here I probably uh, scale this up you know because whatever you want more of the detail you want to kind of have bigger in your UV maps and I'm gonna go ahead and scale that up and possibly and then from there we you know we can grab these and then I believe I can go tools pack UVs and I'll try to pack them in the sizes that we got them so that's pretty cool and I might just bring this over in the center so I'm grabbing the element here so it grabs the whole thing I'm just gonna kinda of position that over somewhere here move that out the way alright so as you can see uh, you know we have a UV map and then of course I can you know I can take my snapshot, which we're going to save because in case we want to come back and texture this. So I'm going to go uh, Tools, Render UV Template. I'm going to go 1024 by 1024. Uh, we'll keep the mode at none. I'll just render the template out. And here's our image that we can... Looks like we're missing a face right there. That's all right. But um, like I said, this is just for demonstration. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, save that out as a PNG into my textures maps and we'll call this a uh, oil drum UVW map and then I'll save it as a PNG because I want that transparency just like my other ones the crates alright so I'm gonna go ahead and save that there we go I'm gonna close out and we know that's our oil drum one in case we go back and texture it so I'm gonna go ahead and right click Collapse to lock that in place, and now we know that our uh, our oral germ has been um, basically mapped. So if I were to reopen, you know, throw that right back on there, I can go ahead and um, let's see uh, UV unwrap, and then you can see everything's been mapped. And there we go. There might be some issues with the geometry there being, uh, there might be some, I don't know, could be some extra faces in there. I should have double checked the, the oil drum, but it's not that big of a deal for now. Alright, so, I'm going to go ahead and collapse that again. Alright, so, basically, there we go, we have that one ready to be painted on. But now, let's get on to mix mapping, you know, because, uh, the reason I unwrapped that one really quick for you guys was so... You know, in case we want to change up something with a little more uh, custom detail to the, the painted texture. Alright, so I'm going to unhide everything. Go back to my camera. I'm going to, you know, hit C or right click here. Camera. Alright, and then we'll probably work on a second barrel here. This one's already been mapped, but we'll probably work on this one. So I'm going to teach you guys now mix mapping. So I'm going to hide unselected. Hit Z. Oops, let me get the perspective. I hit P, then I'm hit Z, and then we'll be ready to start on this barrel. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, show you how to mix map this uh, barrel now. Introduce you to a new technique. First thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to open up Photoshop here. And I'm going to give you a breakdown on our uh, materials. So I'm going to open up, and I got a folder here that's kind of got these organized already. So we have our green slime our rust leak diffuse right here our green slime diffuse rust leak diffuse and our rust diffuse these are the three main textures i'm going to work with so here's all three of them this is for the main body of the barrel and these are probably for the tops and bottoms and then of course our green slime and all these uh textures i believe some of them are from they could be from the total texture library or from online actually I found this green slime texture online on Google alright so I'm gonna close those out and of course I made their proper bumps and speculars as you can see but also I'm gonna introduce you to some masking maps that we may use which are this one and this one right here and these are different types of grunge layers and you can make any kind of really masking map from any um, pretty much any texture by 
you know, opening up the image and then saturating it and then playing with the levels. It's almost like making a specular map. Um, or you can custom paint your hand drawn or custom paint your, not hand drawn, but custom paint your uh, texture maps, your masking maps using black and white paints, you know, with your painting tools and stuff. So I just want to give you a breakdown of what a masking map would be like. And then we're going to go ahead and um, use these maps here to texture out our barrel. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close out Photoshop here. I'm just going to minimize it and we're back in 3D Max. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, start mix mapping this barrel here. All right, so this is going to be a completely new, different technique here. So I'm going to start off hitting my M key. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and um, cycle through this. You can always hit your X key, but I'm going to put it more little slots here. And of course, I can go all the way up to your, your 24 slots. But let's go ahead and um, take it back to 5 by 3 here. All right, um, first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to pick a new blank shader. And as you can see, this is our oil drum one over here because remember we uh, dragged that shader onto that barrel that we unwrapped. All right, so I'm going to go select the new one here. And right here in the top corner, I'm going to call this oil drum two. All right, now the first thing I'm going to do is in the diffuse slot where we normally put our color maps or our main texture, I must click in here. But instead of going to bitmap, I'm going to use mix map. And my X map right there. So I'm going to double click. And as you can see, that's going to turn that black because our first color is black. Color 2 is white. So you can see we got three slots that we can throw textures in. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, let's select the faces that we're going to throw a texture on. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this, go to my polygons, and let's go Alt W. And I'm in my front viewport here, by the way. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight these all right and then going back to my perspective I'm gonna hit grow until I get all the faces that I need which I think that's fine right there let's go down here I want to get some of these there we go that's good enough got enough of them all right from there now let's go ahead and um, put in our first texture so I'm going to go in my none slot, hit bitmap, and I want to put my rust leak diffuse in here. So I'm going to open that up. I'm going to make sure I show maps and viewports, walk up to the parent level, show maps and viewport there. And of course I can, the very parent level, you know, that's where we want to go, show map viewports in there. So inside here, we have our rust leak diffuse. So I'm going to drag it from the very parent level now, which is right here. Drag it right on there. And as you can see, we have dropped our texture. At the same time, you know, I just don't want to leave it at that. So I'm going to UV map it. UV map, which is UVW mapping. And then this being a cylinder, let's turn on cylinder right here. And that looks pretty good. All right. And I want to keep my tiling, you know, I don't want to mess with this because remember I can go inside the mix map and inside the rust leak map I have its tiling here, but I want to keep that kind of default one on, you know, one by one. Alright, so as you can see we have our first map laid down. Now let's go ahead and put a second map in there. So I'm going to go ahead and color number two. So I'm inside this shader at the parent level. If I go inside my mix map, there's color number two. So I'm gonna go click in here, bitmap, and I'm gonna use the green slime. So I'm gonna open that up, show maps and viewport, and then you can see it shows it in there. If I go up one more, show it from in here, it's actually showing the top one now. Here's what's interesting now. So I'm gonna actually double click that so you can see it. And I have two shaders here, or two materials, maps, in these two slots. Here's your mix amount. So if I actually crank that up, you're going to see it slowly start to mix together. And as to where if I go 100% all the way, it's the green, the bottom texture. So basically I just want maybe 30% to show. And then you would see 30% of the bottom texture. 
But in this case, I don't want to uh, mix it that way. Now that, that way is usually good if you want to mask some kind of like tiling in some, some areas of a model. But what I'm going to introduce you to now is using a masking map. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, in the third slot here, we're going to use a black and white map. So if I went back to Photoshop here, I'm going to open up the masking map that I'm going to use. Well, I call it masking map because we're going to mask out with the black to mask out, or we're going to mask out with the white to reveal that green slime. So the saying is black holds back one texture, white shows through. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and minimize this, and in that slot, I'm going to open that up. It's a bitmap here. There goes my masking map I'm going to use. I'm going to open it up. And then as you can see, here, let me click this to a barrel or like cylinder. And you can see how that map affects that texture. So I'm going to close this out now. And then you can see it being revealed. So it's mixing two of the textures together. So we have the leak, the green slime, the rust leak and the green slime with the black and white mask map. And how it works is like I said, black holds back, white shows through. And gray, anything gray kind of kind of is a transition, like a blend of the two textures. Now here's another interesting thing. I can actually take this top one, drag it, and swap it with the other one. And now if I come back here, click that, it's going to reverse the two. Not that I wanted that, I just want to let you know you can flip your textures around. In this case, I'm going to go back inside the mix map, swap these back over, and there we go. Now here's another interesting factor now. Remember, each slot has its own properties, or each map, I should say. So the green slime, I kind of want to tile up a little more. So I can go inside the green slime, tiling, I can say, well, you know, maybe I want it by three. And you can see it's starting to tile up a little bit. I might tighten this up by three by three. You know, maybe five by five. There we go. So we're getting a little more texture in there. Now, also, if I go back, I can tile the mix or the, the masking map. So I don't want to tile it from, you know, the V slot here. I'm going to go to the tiling up here, right on top. So I'm going to go three. And then, as you can see, it's starting to mask out a little bit more. Let's go five. And I can probably crank it up a little bit more. There we go. So, if I were to show that. By turning on my masking map, you can see I've tiled that a little bit more. That's 14. That's down to 10. And, you know, maybe 4. That looks pretty good. Or maybe I wanted to go 5. As you can see, it's tiling the masking map itself. I'm kind of making it a little more, you know, like it's the slime's going down. All right, so just let you know you can control those. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that back on. And as you can see, we have our... Looks like our mixed map of our green slime. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and render that out. Let's see what we got here. All right, looks pretty good. Looks like I'm on the back side of the light. So, all right, next thing I'm going to do is uh, let's go ahead and um, I can actually collapse that and lock it in place. Now, even though that's locked in place, I can still adjust these on the fly. So, for example, if I were click on the green slime and maybe want to keep it at one and one instead of five and five you know it tiled it out by one on one and it still looks good all right let's go ahead and um, get the tops and bottoms here so we're basically gonna create a new shader and create the top and bottom of it